What's good, YouTube? Big 50 TV here today. We're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna look at one of Larry Bird's amazing teammates, Danny A. Never heard of him until I started watching Larry Bird video. You know? And come to find out, he was a three, four star athlete, all American in football, basketball, and baseball. And he played for the Blue Jays for a little bit before he got drafted in the NBA. But before we get into the video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and get into it. This is a pissed off Danny Ainge. This is Mario Ellie. What you may not know about Ainge is he played Major League Baseball. He also has an absolute cannon for an arm. Watch Ellie number seven is going to turn. Look at this. Boom! Oh. It's right in the face. If you guys didn't know, Danny Ainge has had a notorious career of being a so-called dirty player. He got into many scuffles throughout his NBA career, and this is just one of them. Strap in, basketball fans, as we explore the legacy of none other than Danny Ainge and discuss whether he could be considered the dirtiest player in NBA history. Throughout the 1980s and 90s, Danny Ainge was a key figure in the NBA, best known for his time with the Boston Celtics. But behind his boyish looks and smooth jumper, there was a darker side to Ainge's game. Let's dive into some of the moments that have contributed to his controversial reputation. In 1983, during a heated matchup between the Boston Celtics and Atlanta Hawks, Ainge was involved in a notorious elbow incident. After a hard foul, he swung his elbow wildly, connecting with the face of Hawks center Tree Rollins, causing a significant cut under Rollins' eyes. Ainge looked like he tackled Collins. Let's, let's take a look at it again. Here's how it started. He rounded the fly down the foot, and look at the elbow there on Ainge that was thrown by Tree Rollins, and now Ainge will tackle Rollins. Watch this. Well, he was smart to go in low because Tree was... <laughs> My boy Danny. My boy Danny ain't play. <laughs> he wasn't scared, now. <laughs> he threw an elbow at a seven footer, bro. Look how short he is compared to him. Like. Yeah. Watch this. Well, he was smart to go in low because Tree was going to throw a haymaker at him there. He had to get him down. <laughs> Danny Ainge, baseball bounce. It looks like a nice open field tackle there also. Yeah. Look at Larry Bird. Looks like a nice open field tackle there also. Here's where you get hurt, though. This resulted in Rollins biting Ainge's finger, making him get five stitches to clean up his wound. Ainge was suspended, and this event further cemented his reputation as a player who wasn't afraid to play rough. This is one of the main incidents fans point to when referencing Ainge's dirty playing career. Danny Ainge was also notorious for his trash talking and agitation tactics on the court. He had a knack for getting under opponent's skin, often leading to physical altercations and technical fouls. While some argue that this was simply a part of his competitive spirit, others saw it as unsportsmanlike conduct. The kicking incident occurred on January 21st, 1993, during a regular season matchup between the Boston Celtics and the Indiana Pacers. The Celtics were on the road visiting the Pacers at Market Square Arena in Indianapolis. During the game, tensions were high as both teams were competing fiercely to gain an advantage. Danny Ainge, known for his physical and sometimes contentious style of play, found himself entangled with Pacers star shooting guard Reggie Miller. As they battled for positioning, Ainge suddenly appeared to execute a deliberate kick to the back of Miller's leg. The kick was seen as a flagrant and intentional act by many observers. It caught Miller by surprise and he immediately reacted, confronting Ainge about the incident. Referees quickly intervened to prevent the situation from escalating further and both players were assessed technical fouls for their involvement in the altercation. Reggie Miller was best known for being a competitive and outspoken player himself, so it was no surprise that he didn't back down from a confrontation with Ainge. Miller later commented on the incident, expressing his frustration with Ainge's aggressive tactics. In the aftermath of the game, sports media and NBA fans scrutinized the incident, with opinions divided on whether Ainge's kick was an intentional dirty play or simply an unfortunate collision in the heat of the moment. 
Some defended Ainge, arguing that his style of play was tough, but fair, while others believed the kick was deliberate and unsportsmanlike. In the 1987 Eastern Conference Finals game, there's a specific altercation between Sidney Moncrief from the Milwaukee Bucks and Danny Ainge. Moncrief was driving for a layup early in the second quarter, and Ainge clotheslined him on his way to the basket. Benches clear. That's one thing I did not like about the 80s and the 90s, like the unnecessary, <laughs> unnecessary roughness. Clotheslining somebody, like they don't, they don't stop nobody. Well, it does stop somebody from scoring, but that's like overly aggressive. Like it's doing too much, bro. It really hurts somebody. In somebody's career doing that. Danny probably was a dirty player. Probably Draymond before Draymond, but Draymond, I don't think Draymond is dirt, nowhere near as dirty as him. But Draymond's still dirty. In the second quarter, and Ainge clotheslined him on his way to the basket. Benches cleared, and eventually order was restored. In a row, your temper gets short, and Sidney Moncrief took the ball to the basket. And Danny Ainge wrapped him up. Let's watch it. He wraps him up right there. And Sidney comes up swinging. That's not a dirty play. He stopped him from scoring. He grabbed his play. I don't see how that's dirty. That ain't dirty to me. And Sidney, let's watch it. He wraps him up right there. He went under him. And Sidney comes up. He kind of used him to catch him, catch himself too, because as you can see, he was like, he was like to do a front flip. Danny was. And he kind of hung on to him and kept him from scoring too. That ain't dirty. That's basketball right there. Looks like Sydney may have delivered the first blow in terms of two punch two. Wait, body slammed him too, and then they go at it. Earl Strom and Daryl Garrickson are the officials. They'll have to sort this out. All three Boston coaches on the floor, both of the Milwaukee coaches out there. Throughout his career. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They do. They do. <laughs> they didn't break this fight up. Daniel was going to go night night. Daniel was going to go sleep. You can put them piles on Danny. Ooh. Throughout his career, Ainge was also involved in several instances of tripping opposing players and resorting to questionable tactics. His physical style of play often blurred the line between tough defense and dirty play. While some fans argue that Ainge's style of play was simply a reflection of the era's physicality, others believe that he crossed a line on numerous occasions. It was quite obvious around the league that fans hated Ainge. Fans of the Pistons showed up to a game against Boston wearing the famous I Hate Danny Ainge shirt. Ainge said it did actually catch me off guard, but eventually I did embrace it. When this whole section of people were wearing the I Hate Danny Ainge shirt, I asked him to give me one and I would wear it as I went to shoot it in warm-ups. Those who root for the Celtics obviously have a different opinion of Ainge. He is loved around the Boston area for being coveted for coming up in clutch moments in the NBA playoffs. I think either way you swing it, there will be people on both sides of the spectrum. With Ainge, you either love his physical and mental approach to the game, or you can't stand seeing that number 44 take the floor. As we've seen, Danny Ainge's legacy is undoubtedly a controversial one. While some admire his competitiveness and passion for the game, others criticize his dirty plays and unsportsmanlike conduct. Whether he's considered the dirtiest player in NBA history is a subject of ongoing debate. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. To me, he's not a dirty player, but you guys let me know in the comments if y'all think he's a dirty player. And he's by far not the dirtiest player ever in the league. I'll be looking at the Pistons. Pistons and the way they play, like, they do some kind of dirty stuff, but and one of the Pistons players, not Danny Ainge, bro. But that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. And keep dropping recommendations down in the comments.